We welcome you here to a big night of fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. Dynamite's ring walk is one of those ring walks where you realize how attentive this fighter is. This is a guy who has his eye on the prize, and nothing will distract him. Chico's entrance here, what a ring walk. Just brimming with confidence, ready for the task at hand. to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. <laughs> Sound defense. Good block that time by Chico. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. He's in bad shape. He's on wobbly legs. Teddy, he's got to tie up. If he can. See, that's up to his opponent, Joe. It's not automatic that he's going to get what he wants to tie up. If his opponent steps back a little bit, he can keep this offense going and end his night. this round good job it was sudden it was fast it was direct by Chico good accuracy with that uppercut accuracy an issue there didn't land that straight right hand Not much action as he just ties up. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old timers used to say when you're calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Getting rid of that punch from his opponent. Well blocked by Chico. We count down the final moments of this round. Chico's once again the target of a hook. This round comes to an end 
And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten him up. Okay. Now keep boxing. You're doing great. You're making it hot. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. Well placed, straight right hand, right to the body. Fine work with the left hand, he landed well by Dynamite. Chico's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Intense jab right there by Chico. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show a lot of varied attacks. Well, that gives them a better opportunity to be effective throughout the night. Halfway through round number two. Chico's got a real uphill battle ahead of him now with a cut over his eye. Not able to land the headshot. Dynamite showing us that his legs may not be completely underneath him the way he wants them to be after being stunned earlier. He's really hanging on in there, he's tying up a lot. Yeah, but he's being allowed to. I have to say that right now as a trainer, that he's allowed to do that. His opponent should not cooperate with him. He should take a little step back and make sure he takes advantage. Don't let him tie up. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't. He's chomping at the bid. He's confident. Number three is underway. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. And that has some fight to it, that right hand by Dynamite. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. Dynamite's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Chico!
goes cracked by a look at that oh an explosive headshot there he's down one two three four five and somehow some way he's gonna continue on here and if he's gonna stay in this fight now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. Nice block by Chico. Head oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Great movement to get away from those punches. Keep it going. 90 seconds to go here in this round. It's working the body. Keep working the Chico's box. swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. <laughs> Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Keep working the body. into offense nice counter punch and what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs he gets caught didn't get it done going to the body there and we come to the end of the round the body breathe take a deep breath great job that round you're doing well. Look, you're standing straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body more. There you go. Listen, you're not working. You're not working on anything we worked on. You're not doubling your jab. Start of round number four. Fairly close fight with one exception. Dynamite scored the knockdown in this fight. He's up two rounds to one. And his opponent cannot really be influenced or panicked right now at this stage of the fight because of that. He still has to stay within his fight. Nice work with the overhand right. Chico's trying to get back to where he was here in this round. He was knocked down in the last round. Now, Teddy, when you're the opponent and you knock the guy down, those opening few moments of the next round, do you try to size up and kind of take into account where your opponent is? Do you look into his eyes and assess the situation? Well, I don't know if you get close enough to look right into his eyes as the opponent, but first of all, in the corner, you better not send your fighter out if his eyes don't look clear. That's your responsibility, looking out for the fighter. But as the opponent out there, you look at his legs. If his legs look a little wobbly, you get right on him. Back to the body, back to the body. seconds to go in round number four. Nice. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Do 
you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, Focus. boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. You see him holding on. Cut right on the mark. Relax. Ten Relax. seconds to go in the fourth. He go. got hit, but he sends it right back. Right hand downstairs. Keep your hands, all right? You have to keep your hands up. Relax, relax. Take deep breath. You're doing fine. You won that round, all right? Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even, closely contested bout throughout. Big shot there. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? He gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. Good block by Chico. Dynamite's making this like artwork here. I mean, his defense is just a masterpiece. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be, actually. You know, the, the sweet science. It's not supposed to be about going in there and eating punches. It's supposed to be about going in there avoiding punches. You know, finding a way to hit your opponent without him hitting you. He understands that. Nice solid left hand scored by Dynamite. Good exchange, he fires back. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. Good jab by Dynamite. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not. Big, big shot he just scored with. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, two, three, four, five. The ref is stopping this fight. Chico's unable to get up and continue on.
I like the way he finished things tonight, Teddy. Dynamite, your winner by knockout in a fight that he controlled throughout. Well, I'm glad you liked it, and just as importantly, or more importantly, his trainer, his manager, and his promoter like it, because that means that he's going to be easy to sell now to television. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.